Hello, everyone. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents Crochet from the Beginning, and we are starting our towel topper. Now, the first thing that you will need is a towel. I have gone ahead and cut mine in half, okay? This one does not have a pattern on each side. It's just colorful. Um, but usually, you can get two towels out of one of the tower topple <laughs> the topped towels. Oh boy, let's see if I can talk today. You will also need a way to attach your crochet to the top of the towel. Now you can see that I have cut this across just with scissors. Um, if you have a rotary cutter, that's even better and it'll probably be straighter than mine will ever be, but you know, we do what we do, right? And I have clipped mine at my little, what I, what I consider my little hem, okay? I do roughly quarter inch. I don't measure. Sometimes the towels are not very even, especially if you get them from the Dollar Tree. But this one is actually pretty even. Okay, let me take this little clippy off, which I also got at the Dollar Tree. These are handy. Hello, I am a clip. Yes, okay. Um, to take care of these towels and the way that mine end up forming, I do a little foldy action in the corner. Okay, this is the back side of the towel. I fold it in uh, roughly, it looks like it's over half an inch. You know, I could get out the tape measure, but I'm not going to. You just eyeball it. And then I fold it down like so. This gives a nice edge on the towel and it helps with bringing that side in because when my towels are complete, like you will see, um, when they hang up, the front of the towel is nicely displayed. Now, I'm going to clip this back because bloop, I did not thread my needle. How much yarn do you need? I always use the yarn that I'm going to trim with around the top of the crochet. I, I choose two colors straight away. And I do roughly three times the width of the towel. I know in my viewfinder here you can't really see that, but it will go back and forth three times. That'll give you enough extra to have tails to sew in. It's not exact. I usually err on the side of having a bit too much because it's easier to cut off some excess than it is to have to attach more. Okay, then you want to thread, oops, sorry for the bump y'all, um, your yarn needle. I use a metal yarn needle, but this, notice I'm poking it into my finger and I'm not screaming and I'm not bleeding. It's a blunt tip. Now, a lot of people like to use sharper tips when they're weaving in their ends. With a more blunt tip, instead of it ripping the towel when you're putting it through, it kind of moves those fibers aside so you have less of a chance of it shredding. Um, that's why when you are sewing knit fabrics and such, you will use a blunt tipped needle instead of a sharp tipped needle. All right, now to put it through, and now watch me not be able to do it while I'm looking through a viewfinder. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, some people do the pull it through and do all kinds of funky stuff. I just kind of shove it in there and hope for the best. Whatever method works for you, thread your needle, okay? Now, I always work with the front of the towel facing me after I have done my fold over and clippy thing. And I will end up with three stitches right here in the corner, okay? I push in from the back, going to the front, and pull that a good ways through. I do wanna leave a tail to sew in later trying to see where my yarn ends. I, I apologize, this is awkward AF in a viewfinder. Props to everybody who does tutorials all the time, okay? See, I'm leaving a good sized tail there at the end. Then I want to wrap over the front because we just came out the front, go back roughly in the same hole. If you're not in the same hole exactly, that's actually okay, but you wanna be right there because you don't wanna have a bunch of random stitches poking through the front, okay? Going through again, oh, another bump, my goodness. Okay, now that I've made everybody dizzy, 
And yes, let it wrap around the side. Little extra security there. Because my towels get used, they go through the wash, and then they're just fine. Then I'm going to go through one more time. And pull and pull and pull. And this time, I want the loop to be on top. And yes, you may have to fiddle with it to make that happen. There. That's the corner. That is the basis of what I do here. Now I'm going to remove my little clippy-do now that it has served its purpose. Clippy-do. Maybe not the perfect name for it, but it's my name for it. Okay. Then all we're going to do all the way across this towel is keep our little hem as straight as we can-ish. And I normally go roughly a quarter inch. Am I measuring it to make it perfect? No. Am I counting them? Also, no, it really does not matter. You just want to make them mostly even. And yes, when you're going through multiple layers, there's the hem on the side, it's folded over and it's folded over again. It's awkward. You got to give it a little push, but it will poke through and it will move those fibers out of the way so you're not actually ripping your towel any more than it already has to be. Oh, pro tip, if you have a serger, you can serge across this too to save that fraying. I have sergers, plural. And am I pulling it out for this? No, not so much. Okay, I've got my stuff tangled because I'm trying to do it like this in a viewfinder, but good gravy, what have I done? Now see, at the very beginning, it's weird because you have so much yarn that you're fiddling with. I don't want it to loop around each other and I have made it do that, which is why I'm undoing it there, okay. But just take your time. After you do a few, this gets a little shorter and it gets a little bit easier to deal with. To be fair, this is my least favorite part of doing the towels. I actually really enjoy doing towels, but this is just, this is the awkward bit. And I just go back around with the yarn, make sure it's back over where it needs to be. And I stitch. lot easier to poke through now that there's not, you know, a zillion layers of towel to go through. And yes, I could have done white or just yellow or something, but you know what? I wanted it to be bright today. Poke in from the back. Pull it through. And just keep it even-ish. If you are like, you know, super, everything has to be perfect, sure, you could go through and mark it and do that. That's not me. This girl is winging it almost all the time. So that's what I'm doing. And it's like the easiest sewing that you'll ever do by hand. All right, I am going to Keep on going with this. I'm going to pause this so you don't have to sit here and wait through every stinking stitch so you can see how I end off this sewing on roll. Pause. For you, it'll be a second. For me, it'll be about 10, 15 minutes because I'm slow. And voila, through the magic of YouTube, I'm at the end. Um, just going to do these last few stitches with you here. I can keep myself back in that viewfinder. Hello. main reason I paused it to it on my own was so that I could just keep it close to me <laughs> and not have to do it through the viewfinder but you know how that is let's loosen that up I pulled that a little too tight you also when you're doing this you don't want to do it super tight if it's a little loose that's okay because you're going to be crocheting into that and that will sort itself out Oh, and if you want to make it super easy on yourself with doing this part, you can pull out the iron and press the towel down. Again, I don't do that because I'm kind of lazy, but yeah, take it off my little clippy doo -dah. Keeping it folded over like we had in the beginning on that other side. That stitch isn't going to go through all the layers. Okay, that's all right. And I 
just mentioned not pulling it too tight and what do I do I'll pull on it like I'm starting a lawnmower okay This one is going through the hemmed towel, the folded over, and both the folded over parts. So yeah, it's a little tough. Yes, you can use a thimble to help push if you want to. Apparently I prefer to torture myself a little bit. See, there it goes. And it's not ripping those threads in the woven towel. Okay. You see we're here at this corner. I'm going to go pretty much right next to it. Yeah, these two last stitches are gonna be close together, but this is where we want to get our over and around stitch. I'm gonna go back into it. And this one is going to pull from the side if it will listen to me. Go back over there. And yes, I argue with my yarn sometimes. It's okay to argue with yarn. If it starts arguing back verbally, um, seek some help, okay? All right, that is in there. Now I generally take this little guy and I will go into the back, but it's not showing through. This side gets woven in pretty much immediately because I hate leaving all of my ends till the end. If you enjoy leaving your ends to the end, more power to you. Um, you can do it that way. Hey, it's your towel, not mine. But now I'm just going to go back through. And this one, I can feel that I'm not going all the way through, but you may want to poke around and look and make sure you're not poking through on this side. It's actually not going to make a big difference here on the ends because these end up folded under, which we will see the next time when we start the crochet process. This is just how I get my seam, as it were, at the top to crochet into, because I know people do it all different ways. And like I said, this is crochet from the beginning. I watched a ton of tutorials. I tried it a bunch of ways, and I just kind of ended up working up to this way. There is no specific, OMG, this is right, or OMG, this is wrong. It's whatever works for you and whatever you like to do. This is crochet. It's a skill, and it's an art, and we are all learning and doing together and everybody kind of helps each other. It's one thing I really love about this community. Thank you for coming by for crochet from the beginning. Next time I will uh, show crocheting into this and starting this off and the only crochet stitches you need for mine for the entire body of the crochet part are half double crochets and half double crochets two together. The border is a little bit different but it's actually even easier. So uh, thank you and I will see you next time. Bye now.